Hey, this is The Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Today, let's ask the question, is your developer the meal or an ingredient? Okay, so I hope you guys had a great weekend. Yesterday was Sunday and it was beautiful here in England. The weather was, I mean, it was hot and sunny and I didn't have any errands to run yesterday. So usually I was in the office all day Saturday. Usually I'm in the office for a little bit on Sunday. This is not something I'm proud of. I, I probably work a bit more than I should and I need to take more time off. And when I'm not working, there's all kinds of family errands and things to run. There's always things to do. So I'm always running around it seems like. But yesterday was perfect because I had nothing to do. I was able to just have a lazy Sunday afternoon for the first time in quite a while. So I'm sitting around the house and, I, and it's lunchtime so I think I'll make myself something to eat. So you go to check to see if there's bread. Yes, there's bread. And I'll make myself a sandwich, check the fridge. And I found bacon, right? And I know some of you guys probably don't eat bacon, right? But I, but I do. Right? And to find a package of bacon in the fridge was just like I couldn't believe my luck. I was like, yes, there's bacon in the fridge. I thought I'm going to make myself a sandwich and, it's, and I don't even have to leave the house. It's fantastic. So I go, I take the bacon out and I'm about ready to get ready. I'm checking to say, is it, is, are we saving this for anything? Whatever. No, no, we're not. So, and then I check the date on it. It's like a month out of date, right? The thing is like July 3rd was it, was the use by date on it, right? So I'm like, and, I can, and then I was thinking about thinking, why has this been in the fridge for so long? Why hasn't anybody used it? And then I got a little bit angry. So I went into the front room uh, where my kids were diligently doing uh, chores and homework, playing games. So, so I asked them, I said, hey, why didn't anybody eat this bacon when it, was, when it was good? And one of my kids said, because it's not food, it's an ingredient, right? And which was, you know, funny. I, I'm like, what he meant was it's not a meal, it's an ingredient. So, you know, they, didn't, they couldn't be bothered to cook it and put it in bread and everything like that. It was so easy, right? And uh, so anyway, I made, myself, I made myself something else. Anyway, but it really struck me because what he said was it's not food, it's not food, it's an ingredient. It's not a meal, it's an ingredient. This, this is what we do a lot of times when we hire developers. Every so often you'll hire a developer and you think that they could do everything for you. You think that they're the meal, but really they're just an ingredient. Like maybe they've worked in a team before and they've only done one part of something and they, they can't do everything. I see this all the time with clients who come to us and I've, been, I've done this in, in the past too. You go on Upwork and you just do a search. You say, I need somebody to build this Android app or something. And then you get like a bunch of people come in and then you think, well, I'll just, I, I don't know that you know when you don't know the difference you just say well I'll, I'll go for the cheapest one why, why not but then usually it's somebody who, who can't do everything maybe you know they might say they can but they can and when I say everything I mean uh, you know the development and you most of the time when you hire a developer they're thinking the development but also can they do the design can they do the deployment can they can they test it properly everything like that and if they've been in a team environment their entire lives they're not the full package. I mean, that, that's not a bad thing. They might be specialized in something else, but sometimes you think, no, you need somebody else. It's like, if you were gonna build a house, you wouldn't just go out and hire a builder or like, like in the movies where they pull up in front of a taco stand with a pickup truck and every, you know, a bunch of you know, uh, illegal aliens jump in the back. Like you just go in for the lowest. No, you need like an architect. You need somebody who knows what they're doing. And if you're a software developer, you have to think about how can I be the architect who could pull everything together. And sometimes that means you need to partner with somebody else. Like for me, I can't do the design work. And, and I've, I've met so many developers in the past who have never who have never deployed an app. They've, they've done a lot of the development. And if you read a lot of the books on Android or iOS or whatever, a lot of the times they don't go through the how to use Google Play console, how to use you know, App Store Connect, because that stuff changes all the time. If you have a developer who hasn't released anything in six months, things may have changed a little bit and they just need to get their, their bearings. But if they have done it in the past, it's usually pretty much okay. I mean, there's nothing wrong with hiring somebody who doesn't have all the skills, but a lot of times you're, you're also, you, you need to give them time to learn that. And it's, it's a, a kind of a, a thing. So, you know, there's certain things that I do where I'm, where I think I'm the full package. I could do like, you know, from beginning to end. And there's other things where I'm just an ingredient. Like I'm just, I'm part of this, but I know that I have to bring people in. And if you're hiring somebody, it's something to think of all the time. Can this person, despite the fact what they say they can do, can they do everything together? So I, when I'm hiring somebody, I want to, 
Like if I'm hiring somebody for part of the team, I'm looking for have they worked on their own on a project and have they worked in a team? Because if somebody has only worked on their own, they might be undisciplined, their code might be all over the place because they know it, that's, that's all that really matters to them. Uh, if they've never worked on a team, they don't know how to, to stru structure it properly so it's readable to others and, and all that kind of stuff. But if they've only worked on a team, they might not be able to do the, the full package from, from the beginning to the end. So anyway, those are just my thoughts for today. Let me know what you guys think. You know, when somebody hires me, I have to make sure that we can do everything when I hire Overpass. I have to, to let them know that, look, I, I'm not the solution to all of this. I cannot do this from beginning to end. We're going to need to bring on a designer. We're going to need, ideally, we're going to need a QA person. I mean, we can do the testing ourselves, but a QA person would make sure the quality is much higher. We need to bring in a, a, somebody to architect it if we can't do that and all that kind of stuff. So anyway just my thoughts for the day. I hope you guys have a, a fantastic week ahead. I hope you had a great weekend and I will talk to you guys again tomorrow.